But then you bought that one, right? This one? Yeah. Oh, I don't. I thought Movie Maker needs to buy it. No need, no need. No need. Just now I made a cell in gold. I've checked everything. Everything's for gold, so I went in for a cell. Then right after I went in, immediately the price shot all the way up. Before I went in, the price is like not going anywhere. It's just hovering up and down. It's as if the market knows that you just entered. I know that if you've been trading for a couple of years, you have experienced this also. You make a buy, the price straight away shot down. Or if you're lucky, if you make a buy, the price straight away shot up, then good for you. But then you know, these are all part and parcel of trading, and the price is very near my stop loss. So if the trade doesn't work out, then that's another trading day. I can't do anything about it, but learn from me and move on. So yeah, so that's trading life. So later on, I've got a business call in 30 minutes time discussing a deal with a potential collaborator who comes from another country and I really hope to visit some of your countries in the future. I know some of you have emailed me, those from Sweden and Australia. United States, I've been there two times before but I still want to go there because I really love it so much. I've been to California so I went to the Bay Area and ate some really cool clam chowder yeah, and I still really love the taste even until today. So, shout out to those of you who are from the US, alright? I have a video interview coming up. It's not really a video interview, but it's more of an interview for a documentary. But then, yeah, I, I really hope that this goes the way I want it to go. And, yeah, I look forward to a successful collaboration. So just done with a quick business meeting. I haven't checked the trade yet because most likely seeing where Euro dollar is going, which is shot way up, most likely the trade didn't work out. But later on I'm gonna still check the trade, the gold trade and see how it goes. But I just wanna say one of the things that I'm really grateful for is that without a very supportive team, I would have given up really, really earlier on. So one very important thing I learned in business is that if you want to Go fast, walk alone. If you want to go far, then go along with your team. Last time when I was a teenager, I used to living this so-called gangster lifestyle where whenever you're angry, you just channel that anger into beating the heck out of people, throwing furniture and destroying things. And that's the only like solution to vent of frustration from. And I admit that recently I've been venting my frustration to people that support me, to people that I love. And I feel guilty about that. But it's not as bad as compared to last time where I really, really like lash out on them, like shout at them. Right now I'm just like, I sound a little bit mean to them, but it's not that obvious. Meaning that I'm able to control my emotions a lot more. But those people who love me, who understand me, would know that oh, she's just you know venting her frustration. She's not really angry with me. So remember when I told you that the angrier I am, the faster I swim. And because I'm competing in swimming, once in a while, I channel that anger into helping me swim faster. I channel that anger that I have into physical energy in the gym, mental energy to study my craft more, mental energy to learn every single day. Okay, it's about channeling your energy to the right kind of places. A lot of people think that, oh, you know, being angry is a bad thing, all that. No, actually no. If you can channel it to the right places, I can tell you that it really, really make a big difference to your life because that anger can be changed to motivation. And I get that a lot of people like to say things like, Karen, you need to ignore your haters, you need to ignore them, ignore your naysayers, ignore your doctors. I would say that don't ignore them. 
don't ignore them because you can really really use them to drive you to push harder if you study the top swimmers in the world the top performers in the world very often you find that their motivation really really came from people who doubt them people will say that they can't win eight gold medals people will say that they can't go that business to a million dollars and i know that it's hard to ignore the naysayers comment i know that it's hard when people doubt you i know that i know that it's very hard but it really takes practice it just takes practice i get affected when people don't believe me i do get affected but the only difference between me and other people is just that i learned to channel this motivation to the right kind of places to help me swim faster to help me lift more weights in the gym to help me read that extra page in that book to help me go another hour in the office when i just don't feel like it so to the lovely lovely people who never ever supported me i want to thank you so much because you give me more motivation And the thing is, a lot of people ask me, you know, what's the secret to becoming really successful in whatever they will pursue in your life, whether it is in sport, whether it is your studies, there's really no secret to it. It's really just putting in the hard work, putting in the early mornings, putting in the late nights that a lot of people are not willing to put in. Are you willing to put in the work on a Friday night when all your friends are going out there shopping, when all your friends are going out to party on a Friday night? when all your friends are going out having fun are you willing to put in the hours that other people are not willing to put in top performers in the world rather than focusing on entertainment they focus on education of course it doesn't mean that you shouldn't go and have fun shouldn't go and enjoy yourself what i'm saying is that when you have not achieved your dreams yet you need to be able to tell yourself that i don't deserve this night out until i have achieved my goals only when you've achieved your goals then you go out then you go out and have fun then you go travel around the world whatever they want to do but too many people focus on having fun first and then their dreams can be put one aside because you know what i can read that book tomorrow because you know what i can work on that project tomorrow i can make that call tomorrow my goals can wait let me tell you something your dreams can't wait Okay, so right now it's about 11.58 p.m. almost night time. Just gonna really check my trades right now and see whether they work out. So again, moment of truth. Nowadays when I trade, I have this gut feeling that it's going to work out and not work out. And uh, I think you need to get this gut feeling when you have a lot more experience in trading. You need like maybe at least 4 to 5 years to be able to get that gut feeling. And also sticking to that one freaking system that you always use. Okay, so here goes. The trade work out or not. My gut feeling is that it didn't work out. That's my gut feeling, okay? That's why I trade with a relatively smaller lot size as compared to before. Sometimes even when all the lights are green, you just have this gut feeling that's not gonna work out. And it's very hard to explain, but... You know what I mean, once you've been trading for a couple of years. So here goes. So the trade did not work out the way I wanted to go. But it wouldn't have my account for a lot. So yeah, I guess the, that's the trading day for this, for today. I think, is it the second losing streak? Second losing streak? Because as long as your revenue is more than your expenses, which are your losses, then at the end of the month, you will end up with a profit. Yeah, but the trade didn't work out, so... That's the trading day for this week. I need to go get some things done before I go to sleep, because tomorrow morning I have early morning training.